Melissa with Let's Find Joy Photography, um, letsfindjoy.com, and I also opened up a new wrap shop with newborn wraps and props. I'll be adding backdrops and tiebacks and all that stuff soon, so be sure to go check it out. That's letsfindjoy.com slash wrappedinjoy. Yes, I'm hilarious. <laughs> um, I came up with that name all by myself. Okay, so for today, I'm going to be editing this little cutie. Um, this is the Huck Finn pose. Um, and this is actually a Brazilian little baby. He's so cute. And so the parents were Portuguese, and, or Brazilian, and they spoke Portuguese. So my husband, this is his hand, he was assisting me in translating. So, um, but you can always have mom or dad come over here and help you with this. Um, sometimes when the baby's awake, or if, even if they're sleepy, their legs just don't want to stay like that. Um, of course, I have a um, a couple of burp cloths underneath the bum right here to kind of let gravity move the feet backwards. But sometimes they don't want to stay still, so you need to kind of have someone just hold their feet back. Um, the top foot is a little over the this foot here, so when he pushes, it holds both of them back. So you just want to have them do it with their fingertips so it's easier to edit when you get closer to the pant leg. Um, so first off, what we're going to do is I'm going to make a before snapshot. So we can quickly see the before and after once we're done. Um, I'm going to hit Command J on my keyboard to make a new layer. Hit B on my keyboard to bring up my brush. Make sure the opacity is at or close to 100% because we're painting over an entire thing. So we do need to cover that completely. You're going to hit Option on your keyboard, Option or Alt, on your keyboard um, to select the color area you're wanting to paint from. When you do this pose, I find it's a lot easier to do when you're on a solid backdrop. If you have a patterned backdrop that shows texture back here, you can't use that this paint brush tool you'll have to use the clone tool, so it's a little bit harder and a lot more tedious. Um, so when you have a solid background color, it's a lot easier because you can see te blanket texture here, but back here you can't. It just looks like a color because of the blur, um, the natural bokeh from your, from your um, lens and camera. So Option or Alt click an area you want to copy from and paint over the area. You can keep option clicking when you get down to other areas to keep the color a little more consistent. But when you're up here covering the majority of the hand, it doesn't, see right there, I forgot to alt click and get more of the color up there. So when you're doing the hand up here, the bigger part of the hand, it's okay to be messier and faster because we're not having to worry about when we get close to the pant leg. Okay, so now let's zoom in since we're getting close to the pant leg. And we're going to be more tedious here, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to make my brush smaller. And zoom in even more. And even smaller. Okay. So I'm going to turn my brush down just a little bit. It's at 80%. And um, just because I want it to, no, I want, just because I want it to, it's a little easier. <laughs> I don't really have a good reason why. I just prefer. Okay. That looks pretty good to me. Let's go over it again and bring the opacity. I think I'm saying that word wrong. I don't think it's opacity. I need to Google it. Tell Google or Siri to tell me how to pronounce it. Or I can ask my husband. He always knows. And there's like a weird little fuzz. I'm just going to get rid of that. <laughs> okay, so before, after. 
So if you really want to get in there and be a little more tedious, you can create a layer mask by hitting this button down here. Make sure you have a black brush because you're on a white layer. And you can hit the tool on your keyboard. It's next to the left and right bracket tools that we're using to make the brush bigger and smaller. Um, it's next to the letter P on your keyboard. So you'll go all the way over to the straight line key. And that, see, it makes it um, red where you're painting on. So it's easier to know exactly where you've got your brush painting. And we can just remove some of it from here if some of it carried over here. I'm going to turn it off. You can see exactly where it was. And I think it went a little too far right here in this area. So I'm going to hit X on my keyboard to bring up the white brush so I can remove it here. And since we've left the red on, it, can, it still shows where we're painting it off of, which is nice. Okay, that looks good to me. Let's zoom back out before, after. Command Shift E on our keyboard or Control Shift D if you're on a PC to merge the layers. And then to even further smooth this out, you can kind of see where his finger was. The paint leg is kind of drooping here. And just there's a little wrinkle sticking out of his pants there. So I want to fix that. I'm going to hit filter, go to liquify. And it's going to bring up your liquify um, workspace area. And you want to be on your forward warp tool. And I usually, I don't ever change these settings. Um, pretty much I keep it the same. But my density, the brush strength is at 50. The pressure is at 37. And you can still use your left and right bracket tools to make the brush bigger or smaller. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more so we can see it better. And I'm going to put pinch or push or nudge, whatever you want to call it, this area in just a little bit more. And then... Also, his pant leg right here. I'm going to push that in. If you wanted to even go in further, you see this area here is pushed in from where my husband's finger was. You can push it out some to make it a little more proportional. The, the pants do have lines on them. They curve naturally with his leg anyway. So it's okay if they curve a little bit, but you don't want the, the legs. You don't want to go like that and have that part of the line be all distorted, right? So command Z to undo that. Um, so just keep it, make sure you're keeping it still proportional with the lines on the pants. So I wanna make it smaller, make sure I don't go too crazy. And then we're going to go out a little further and then I'm going to go back in and push it back in more where the lines are. Straighten the lines back out. this line and it's kind of hard to tell with these lines down here because you can see like here in this area the thread of the line is darker here so it looks like that's kind of what's going on here too so it's not going to be perfectly straight but I'm going to try my best to make it look natural Zoom out. And there's a little spot right here in the pant leg I'm going to push in. And then we'll push this in just a little bit more, this area. Okay, we're going to hit OK on our keyboard, or 
on our thing. And let's look at the before and the after. So it's pretty subtle. All we really did is move this in and move that out a little and that in. But it just makes it, you, again, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. It just polishes a little bit more. Um, so then we notice here that the backdrop is um, it's a little discolored. The, the coloring is not even. So we are going to hit Command J to make a new layer. Make sure your brush is pulled up. Bring the opacity down to 37% because we don't need to cover um, it completely. We want to blend it more. And hit Option or Alt on your keyboard to select an area. Click it to select it. And then we're just going to paint over all of this to smooth it, um, to blend it better. And you can just keep selecting different areas so it blends in better. So that looks good to me. Um, we'll also do the same thing over here. Um, let's Command Shift E. Let's merge that. Let's make a new layer, and we're gonna bring our opac opacity back up to 100 because we do want to cover this whole area. Option click and paint. Option click and paint. This is just where my backdrop poser ended so it's not as consistent. All right, bring the opacity down to about 37% and paint over all of that to smooth or to blend all the colors better. Okay, perfect. So we'll do before and after. Command Shift E to merge. Um, sometimes what I like to do when I have a background um, backdrop that's the entire same color, I will often um, even paint down here because sometimes there's a little bit of wrinkles and just kind of smooth the overall color. So you'll hit Command J. We can bring our opacity down a little bit more and Option click on an area that we like. And we're just going to brush over everything. It just blends the light and everything better. Where it's textured right here by baby, I'm going to leave that. So I'm going to make sure I don't paint that. smaller so I can get in this little area. My computer can keep up with me. And it's okay if you get it a little baby because we're going to remove that in just a minute. And this area is already naturally a little darker because of the shadow from him so it's okay if it doesn't completely match. Down here we're going to go over again I'm going to zoom in. These wrinkles here, I want them gone. <laughs> so I'm going to bring the opacity up a little bit more and click until it's smooth. Okay. And then right here in this area, I'm going to smooth it a little bit. The shadow's a little off right here, so I'm going to smooth it. We still want the shadow because it's natural. It makes it look more natural, but I am going to just polish it a little bit more. Okay. So that looks good to me. Here's the before and the after. It just kind of gives an overall consistent color. 
actually think I need a little bit more up here in this area. Yeah, see there it is before. It was just a little bit brighter in that one little section. Okay. And one more pass down here. Okay, now we're going to make a layer mask. And we're going to make sure we have a black brush because we're on a white layer. We're going to zoom in. You're going to hit that line bar that's to the right of your left and right bracket tools because we want to um, make sure where we're painting shows up red. You can bring your opacity up to 100%. And um, we're just going to paint all over. Oops, keeps changing my brush all over baby so that if we got any paint on baby it comes off so I know I didn't paint right over here but I just go ahead and paint baby because I just want to make sure Okay, that looks good to me. While we're here, I'm going to turn my patch tool on and there's a darker spot right there that's bugging me. I'm a little picky. Um, Command Shift E to merge. And I'll make a new layer again to fix that. Okay. Command Shift E to merge. Perfect. So now that is all smoothed. Um, I'll link down below the video to editing out reds because um, I do have a video already on that. I also have a video on skin smoothing um, that you'll be able to see, you know, how I use my patch tool, how I, oops, I'm not on a new layer, my bad, but how I use my patch tool, how I um, get rid of the reds in the skin, how I smooth the skin. I have um, two other videos on that, so be sure you go check that out because, like you can see with this baby, he had a lot of acne. Um, and um, you'll see exactly how I smooth it and get it to look like this. I'll show you if I still have it somewhere. Where are you? How I get the skin to look perfect like this. Um, I don't completely edit out um, all imperfections because we still want the baby to look natural, but um, I do get rid of acne and most of the flakes. Um, so be sure to watch my other videos on how to do that. Let's look at the before. Zoom out before and after. He's so cute. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Um, be sure to hit the thumbs up or comment below if you have any questions. <laughs>